Today, we're going to look at how to move intuitively in a weightless environment. Let's start simple by getting a Kerbal out on EVA. Now, when we let go of the ladder, notice how we don't immediately float away. That's because Newton's first law tells us that an object at rest will remain at rest unless we give it a push. So let's do exactly that. Here, I activate my jetpack, push ourselves away, then turn it off again. Now I'll float away at a constant speed. Newton's first law is at play here too because we'll keep moving away at a constant speed until we give ourselves another push with the jetpack. Now let's fire our jetpack in the opposite direction to when we pushed ourselves off. Notice how we haven't started moving towards the station again, we've just stopped moving away from it. If we want to approach it, we need to do another pulse in this direction. Now, as we are slowly approaching the station, we're going to push ourselves to the left a little. Notice how it has combined our speeds, and we're now moving in a diagonal style motion towards the station. Now, if we push ourselves backwards like before, we stop moving towards the station, but we still keep that leftwards motion. Understanding what is going on here is key to understanding how things move in space. It happens because velocity is a vector quantity, meaning it has both a magnitude and a direction. When you add two velocities together, it doesn't just account for their speed, but also their direction. By thinking of your velocity as a vector, it should make moving around on EVA much more intuitive. <laughs>